Yo, what is going on guys? It's Bruin Steel here and I apologize for the late video. This is going to be my post game video from the Steelers and Chargers game from Sunday night. And my god, man, I don't know what to say right now. This team just This team is absolute garbage. Like I, I don't even know what to say right now. Like <laughs> But first off, let me get um, some shit out of my system right now before I fucking bitch and whatever you want to call it, rage, whatever. But man, this game was horrible, and I know what I know what you're all gonna say, like, oh well, we scored 37 points. It was a close game. I'm telling you all that most of these touchdowns that I witnessed were pretty much garbage time. Um. Just, just garbage time touchdowns. Like, this defense, especially, this, like, I mean, it just, like, I mean, that's one for sure. Our, the rush defense, looking at our performance last week, like, that, literally, like, one, that's one for sure for time with the fucking Lions. The 0-8 Lions, time with them last week. And the horrible rush defense last week. But now this week... Holy shit, it didn't even get fucking better. This rush defense is absolutely horseshit. Can't even tackle. The, I mean, the, in general, this defense in this game was just atrocious. And people are going to make the excuse. Oh, well, we didn't have... Um, we didn't have um, DJ Wall. Oh, we didn't have Joe Hayden. Oh. We didn't have Minka Fitzpatrick. Like, I mean, either way, this team is garbage. This defense is garbage. I mean, um, kudos to Alex Highsmith. Um, kudos to um, Cam Hayward to making plays. Um, I mean, the, the the defense in this game was just absolute horrible. Like. And look, we scored 37 points, but they're all garbage time touchdowns. Like, this Chargers team, you know, this Chargers team deserves to win. This Justin Herbert, almost like, dude, Justin, look at this. Justin Herbert, nine carries and 90 yards of rushing. This guy killed us in rushing. Like, 382 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Look, Justin Herbert is a smart quarterback, and he killed us. The 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 their 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 um the rush their rush offense just killed us. Like this Steelers defense was horrible in this game. It, it it's it's just horrible, man. It, it it really is, and and. And what and, and I don't understand this team. Like so, last week you get the ball on the first and goal, and you don't run a single run play. You have fucking Najee Harris for a reason, and I don't remember when, but one of the plays, you're in the same situation. Um, it was off of a it was off of a black it was off of a block punt, and we got the ball at the one yard line, wherever, and you don't. You do the same shit that you did last week. You don't freaking run. Matt Canada doesn't run a run play. Just as, again, he did the same thing like last week. Ball at the goal line, and you don't run a run play. And thankfully, thankfully there was an interference call, and you get a new set of downs. And would you know? Yay! You run the fucking ball. You finally ran the ball with Najee. And would you know, you get a fucking touchdown. It's not that fucking hard. Run the fucking ball when you're on the one-yard line, or it's fourth, first and goal. Like, holy shit, man. Matt Canada did the same shit that he did last week. Just the ball on first and goal, and you don't run it. Like, two weeks in a row. Like, I'm just saying that if the Chargers didn't get that penalty, it, it, it's just a waste. It, 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 it's just really bad. And this just... Look, Steeler fans are like, oh, well, we're going to win this game because Ben Roethlisberger is out of COVID. Like, still, this guy is old. He, look, Ben, 273 yards, three touchdowns. Um, um, the f Deontay Johnson had a touchdown. Eric Ebron tore it. 
the Eric Ebron touchdown was pretty much a garbage touchdown. Look, most of these, most of these, most of these were pretty much garbage ass touchdowns. Um, Pat Fryerman had a touchdown. That was the touchdown that we were we were down fourteen to three. We were down. We were down like what? We we were down like seventeen to three at one point, and then we got a touchdown with uh, Deontay Johnson to make the score seventeen to ten. And then the Chargers just the defense just absolute horrible in this game. We can't make tackles. Uh, the Chargers go up twenty four to ten, and what do you know? We I don't know, like, we just made it close, and then it's just like, oh my god, man, it's just, it's just horrible, we, and then we lost this game, the, the defense pretty much lost this game for us, like, holy shit, um, the, 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 the rush defense for the Steelers is just absolute horrible, um, Austin Eckler had two touchdowns for the Chargers, um, it just, Mike Williams, one touchdown. Austin, this Austin dude killed us. A, this is a rookie receiver, and it's just wide open. And th this is how we lost the game. We tied the game at, like, what, 34, I believe? Yeah. We tied the game at 34 with Pat Fryman, and we go down the field, and it wasn't enough. We, get, we hit a field goal. We hit a field goal going up 37 to um, 34, and then what do you know? Freaking... Freaking the defense just gave this ugh, a fifty yard touchdown pass from just Herbert Justin Herbert. It just the guy was wide open. The guy was fucking wide open. This is what I'm fucking talking about the Steelers defense. Absolute horrible man. We gave up that touchdown. We all the effort down twenty four ten, whatever, twenty seven ten, whatever you want to call it. Down that fucking much. And you just give up a 50-yard touchdown late in the fourth quarter. And it's just, I mean, it's laughable at this point. <laughs> this defense is just so bad. I'm just telling you, Ben Roethlisberger, you can kiss your Super Bowl wins goodbye. You're not going to win a Super Bowl playing like this. And God, no, this is Ben Ross. This is going to be Ben Roethlisberger's final year. It's great that, oh, um, he's going to be, it's great to hear that Ben Rosberg is going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame after Troy Polamalu, but dude, Ben, you need to go. This is your last season. And with your, with, with a defense and offense play calling like this, we're not going to make the playoff. I don't, I don't even see the Steelers team as playoff material. This Steelers team should just, like, this is my own opinion. Ben Rosberger is going to go. This team just needs to do what Cleveland did. Cleveland went through a huge rebuild, and they're a decent team right now. And this Steelers team, this Steelers team, this Steelers defense needs work. This once Ben is gone, I'm just saying Mason Rudolph isn't our quarterback. Um, I don't know about I don't I don't know about um I don't. I. I just don't know about the quarterback situation. You know, it, it, it's just that bad. Like all I need to say, all I need to say to you guys is that this Steelers team needs to draft a quarterback in the draft. Mike Tomlin and Matt Canada was a stupid play calling. I mean, Steelers fans are blaming Ben Roethlisberger for the losses, which um, I agree. Like some of the losses that we had are on Ben Roethlisberger. Um, it's just the stupid play calling by Matt Canada, and it's just Mike, it's the coaching is non-disciplined, like, the, the coaching is the number one reason why we just, like, the coaching is horrible, and, uh, deep, look, we got Cincinnati next week, this is a team that has beaten you guys, this is a team that Ben Rosberger has owned, this is a team that the Steelers has owned, but looking at the effort, looking at the coaching, this team has beaten you two times in a row. And we're going to Cincinnati. playing. We're coming off two horrible rush defenses um, performances. How do you expect to beat the Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati if you're going to play with a, deep, uh, a, a fucking rush defense like this? Absolutely horseshit. Like, I, I, I can't explain. You know, that... 
Final score, 41 to 37. This is probably one of the highest scores we have ever. This is probably one of the highest scoring games in so long. I, I, I fucking look, look. Pretty much, I mean, most of you are pumped up. Like maybe we had a comeback win, but like, dude, both of it. I'll say like, look, we we scored a few touchdowns, but I say like two of those touchdowns were garbage time. This this defense is so bad. This game shouldn't be even close. The Chargers should have won like 41 to like 3 or something. 41 to 10. We don't, we didn't, we don't deserve, we didn't deserve some of these garbage time, like, touchdowns. Like, we tied the fucking game to my surprise, but still, this defense was goddamn awful. Like, holy shit. And I give the prop where it's due to the Chargers, they're an amazing team. They got a great quarterback in Justin Herbert. Um... <sighs> Najee Harris, 12 carries and 39 yards. That's just... This, this team doesn't know how to utilize... And still, this... this Mike Tomlin doesn't know how to utilize the time clock management. And it's just horrible. Um, Deontay Johnson, 7 receptions of 101 yards. 1 touchdown. Chase Clay, who had one re 5 receptions, 93 yards. Um, Eric Ebron had that... Pretty much Eric Ebron and Pat Fireman had the two um, garbage time um, touchdowns, and it's just, it's horrible. Um, Cam Sutton, Cam Sutton came across, um, Cam Sutton came up with an amazing pick, but it just, I mean, pretty much, um, we got to, we, it's just the Justin Herbert just killed us with the rushing yards. The quarterback rush play, it just killed us, man. This rush defense needs fucking work. Like, holy shit, let me see here. Because, it's, because I don't know, like, I say skip the playoffs. This is not a playoff team. This Steelers team's not going anywhere. With this rush defense, with this awful performance on offense, this Steelers team isn't going anywhere. See, we got a huge stretch of games. Next week, November 28th, at 1 o'clock, we go into Paul Brown Stadium. We play the Cincinnati Bengals. They have beaten us earlier this um, year. Um, after that, we have a big home game against the Baltimore Ravens. We're on the road to Minnesota. We're at home playing the Tennessee Titans, who are probably looking at the best AFC North. Excuse me. The, we 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 host the Tennessee Titans, who's pretty much looking at the, pretty much looking the best, who's pretty much looking like the best AFC team in just in general. And then we play the Chiefs, and then then we host the Browns, and we we end the season with the Ravens. And you have a stretch of games, Steelers. How do you expect to beat these teams? Like most of these teams that you're gonna play are over five hundred. Let me give you. You freaking tied. With the Lions, 16 to 16 in overtime, a uh, 0 8 fucking team. Even the Cleveland Browns can beat the Lions. How do you expect to beat the Bengals, the Ravens, the Vikings, the Titans, the Chiefs, the Browns? How do you how do you expect to win the rest of your games if you can't fucking run the ball on the first and goal? And you just like this rush defense can't even do shit. Like you're. Don't expect to win most of these games if your rush defense are going to play like this. It, it's just absolute horrible. Like, p many of you guys might say, oh, well, we still got a bunch of wins. Oh, well, but look, most of these... Look, we the, the, looking at the Steelers and Bears game for a couple weeks ago, this, it wasn't even should have been that close. It should have been even that close. All the penalties that the Bears received, and we still almost lost to them. The Seahawks, we almost blew that. We got lucky because we have DJ fucking Watt. And look, I understand. Look, I understand people are going to say, oh, well, the rush defense was horrible without DJ Watt. But look what the fuck happened against the Lions. We had players, but like, it's just the rush defense. Horrible. Like, I have to say to you guys, I, I can't stand this shit. The rush defense, just in general, the entire defense, horrible. How do you, we got Cincinnati, in, we got the Bengals in Cincinnati next week. Matt Canada, 
Mike Tomlin. How do you look at it? Get the facts out of your head, guys. How do you expect to beat this Bengals team that beaten you twice in a row with a poor, awful defense, rush defense like this? How are you going to beat this Bengals team if you're going to play call fucking a throw pass or an action throw four times on a first and goal, second goal, third and goal? Run the damn ball on first and goal, for God's sake. It's not that fucking hard. Two weeks in a row, you get the ball, you fucking have the ball on first and goal, and you don't run a fucking single run play. You got Najee fucking Harris for a reason, Matt Canada. Get your head out of your fucking ass. It's not that fucking hard. My God, this rush defense was horrible. This defense needs work. Defense, get your shit together. You got the Bengals next week. Show them that who fucking runs the AFC North. Get this rush defense sorted out. Awful, man. Absolute horrible, this rush defense and defense in general. Giving up a fucking 50-yard touchdown. Guys, fucking wide open. Wide open! My God. But, um, I want to give a shout out to all you LA Charger fans. You guys definitely deserve this win. The Steelers defense, you just, Justin Herbert killed the defense, the rush defense. It's just horrible, man. I, I, but anyways, just want to give a shout out to all you Charger fans out there on your win. Congratulations. You guys have a hell of a team and a great quarterback in Justin Herbert. And I wish you guys all the best for the rest of the season. And, um, shout out to... Shout out to all the Steeler video makers on here. Um, Renegade412, I saw that you made a video. Good to see you Good back, buddy. Um, Steel Maiden, Steel Jedi, uh, the Steel Twins, um, Eric of Steel, Lady of Steel, uh, Lita One. Shout out to all you guys. Um, it was just a horrible win. Um, um, we got the Bengals next week. Man, this rush defense better make something happen. But anyways, I am Bruin Steel. That is my post-game video. Final score is 41-31. Um, the 40 final score was 41-37. to And the Steelers dropped down to dead last in the AFC North. And we fucking deserve it with a fucking shitty-ass fucking rush defense like this. And we dropped down to 5-4-1 and one on the season. Um, we got the Bengals next week. We see, we gonna have to see what happened. You're on your own, Steelers. Better get this defense right next week. It's just horrible, man. I don't remember the last. The Bengals could sweep us here. And I don't remember the last time the Bengals um, sweep us. And um, I'm most definitely not going to probably... Usually I would do a bet with Dashy. Athletic Dashy, I know, is pumped up for a hate week. And I saw your video. Um, look, Dashy, if you're watching this video, you can understand how this defense is going for us. And, you know, I am uncertain if... I'm going to propose a bet. Probably not, because knowing this team, you guys are probably going to win this game since their rush defense is horrible. And because Matt Canada has a fucking huge-ass turd up his ass, don't know what went up his fucking asshole. But anyways, um, I want to give props where it's due to the Chargers. But anyways, I am Bruin Steel. This is my post-game video. I am out. See you guys later, and I'll see you guys for the post-game video for the Bengals.